So for purposes of elucidating these arguments, I'm going to play devil's advocate with you a little bit right. on both of these arguments. So let's start with the cosmological argument that you're making. So the Richard Dawkins come back, the one that you hear most frequently with regard to the finitude of time and, and the idea that everything has a cause is, okay, well, then what caused God? Yes. And, it's important to state the first premise correctly, Ben. It's not everything has a cause. It is everything that begins to exist has a cause. Something cannot come into being without a cause. But if something is eternal, never began to exist, there's no need for a cause. So that uh, objection of the argument is simply based on a misunderstanding of the first premise. What must we posit such an eternal being, or could we just have in infinity of regressive ah, causes. Well, that's the second premise that the universe began to exist. And I think there are deep philosophical problems with the idea of a, an infinite past. For example, how did we get to today? If you had to go through an infinite number of prior events one at a time, I, that would be like trying to count on all the negative numbers one at a time ending at zero, which seems an absurd task. Moreover, we have remarkable scientific evidence from the Big Bang expansion of the universe and the thermodynamic properties of the universe, which suggests that the universe cannot be infinite in the past, but must have had a beginning around 13.8 billion years ago. So I think that second premise is very powerfully supported both philosophically and scientifically. 